Hi everybody, it's Ed Amoroso. I'm here in our nation's capital with one of my good friends, Rajiv Gupta, CEO of Sky High Networks. How are you doing? Very well, thank you very much. Uh, that's great. Hey, now you guys are doing some pretty amazing things in the CASB space. Uh, right. uh, it's an area you've worked for quite some time. That's right. What are some of the things going on in CASB now? Ed, as you mentioned, I'm very excited by all the interest in CASB because we were one of the first CASB players. We helped right, define right. the category. So starting with Gartner talking about CASB, continue to talk about CASB as being an important requirement for companies as they move to the cloud, mm -hmm. to what we're seeing from the customers, enterprises, businesses, organizations, uh, federal and otherwise, uh, in terms of the interest in cloud, both cloud security from the perspective of shadow IT, but also mm -hmm. from the perspective of sanctioned services they want to adopt. Uh, what we're seeing from the adoption of uh, services like Office 365, it, that's a tsunami, and that has its own requirements for CASB. And then finally, there's, a, there's another tsunami that's, that's only in motion, and that's the IAS, Infrastructure as a Service, AWS, Azure, and so on and so forth. And applying CASB to that is a massive opportunity that we're seeing a lot of interest and traction for. That's awesome. Now this focus on infrastructure and also applications, that's kind of a new uh, set of uh, requirements in and around CASB. Tell me about that, like sort of that bleeding toward application, that sounds exciting. Yeah, so uh, excellent uh, observation. So if you think about it, what enterprises care about, what organizations care about, is their data. Right. That is a core asset. And ever since we've had data, that's what people have cared about. But what we've done in the past is we've thought of the mainframe is if I protect my mainframe, protect my data. Then the PC comes along and I think if I protect my PC, I protect my data. Then the internet comes along and think I protect my network, I protect my data. But actually it's really the data. Mm -hmm. And in this day and age today, where the device is, an, is a device that's owned by your employee or by a partner, you don't really own the device. Where the network is not owned by the, uh, the enterprise, right? It could be the internet. It's back to what we used to be worried about, which is the apps and data. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, I think what you'll find is not only the rest of the industry, organizations, enterprises, starting to realize that apps and data is really what they care about, mm -hmm. but what you start to see is even security providers like ourselves start to focus more on the apps and data because that's really what matters. That's where the puck is headed. Doesn't but it's where the puck came from where the puck is headed in some <laughs> sense, right? You know, when people draw a picture of an architecture with a CASB, it, it, I think it illustrates the vantage point you have in a hybrid environment across multiple clouds. Correct. Does that give you a big advantage like for security? You can see lots of different things and put them together, maybe laterally? Yeah, no, absolutely right. So there are two really important situations that you described. One of them is the fact that, as you just described that, security and application security, data security, is, is required across applications, mm -hmm. right? So you need something that runs across applications. Right. Right. It runs across different environments. Doesn't matter what network, it requires uh, across networks. Doesn't matter what device you come in, it has to run across devices. What ident identity is really important, but you also want to make sure that the data you get is a function of whether an employee, your partner, customer, and so on and so forth, right? So it has to make sure it, it, it enables that kind of lateral uh, control as well. But even more subtly and more importantly, even for a specific application like Office 365, more than 50% of all data interactions are what we call east-west. Right. What that means is that this is happening within the application or between applications, cloud to cloud if you will, and something that's not observable on the network. So my point is that if I just take a network-centric approach, I'm missing 50% of the, of, of the control points I need to enforce right. my controls on. So back to your point, and like I said, very insightful for you to mention that, it's, it's focusing on the apps and data which means focusing on east-west and north-south traffic, which means focusing on these interactions, make, means focusing on not just my SaaS services, but my custom applications as well, which are more and more like a SaaS services to me from a, from a data security perspective. Sure. That's really where the action is, and that's what we're very excited to be taking the industry forward to. You know, this might be the way we get ahead of APTs, right? Because APTs are lateral. It, ap absolutely, right? APTs are lateral, and you need something that has lateral visibility. Mm. So, so, in the case where Today we are saying that Ed is accessing, let's say, uh, you know, your enterprise, acme.365.com at 9 a.m. from DC. And Ed is accessing um, uh, acme.salesforce.com at 9 a.m. from Shanghai. Mm -hmm. Well, each of them thinks it's fine, but sitting here I can say that's not possible. What we're saying now is when I want to apply those same controls to my apps and data in a custom application running in IAS like AWS or Azure, now I've got that telemetry Exactly your point. I get the telemetry to look for 
APT-like behavior, right, right, right. not just in my SaaS interactions, but also my custom app interactions, right? And that to me is really exciting. A, the focus on apps and data, really, which is really what we care about at the end of the day. B, the fact that apps and data now have this lateral movement, which the network can't even observe. And C, the apps and data, whether it's a SaaS app or custom app, is really where the action is. And I'm really so excited, excited to be working in that area. Oh my gosh, well thank you for keeping us all safe. <laughs> this is such good stuff. It, it's, it, it, this is one of those things that takes the village, we're all trying, um, and, and, it's, and I really appreciate you taking this information and disseminating to the, the rest of the, the security community. Because that's how we'll all work together to make this place a safer place. It's easy to do when there's good technology. Great, I think that's a compliment. Thank you very much, you really bet. appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, always Thanks a pleasure. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. See ya.